welcome. Today I'm joined by Henrik Larsson Lyon, the CEO of Hexatronic. Glad to have you here, Henrik. Thank you very much. We're going to talk about the, the second quarter, and there was a quite a solid improvement compared to the first quarter this year, both in terms of sales and gross margins. Uh, could you tell us why was that? Yeah, on the sales side, uh, we saw a slightly better market, uh, but I would also say seasonality effects. Uh, before the pandemic, we had quite a lot of seasonality effects, meaning that Q4 and Q1 was a little bit softer versus Q2 and Q3. Then throughout the pandemic and the war in Ukraine, we haven't really seen that. You know, it was such a strong market, so all quarters were strong. I, th I think we see that we are back with seasonality effects, and that means uh, Q1 is a little bit weaker than Q2. And then on the um, gross margin side, I mean, we have some positive effects of the cost cutting program we did. Uh, we also have a little bit better utilization of our plants. And on the other side, we have seen price pressure in most markets in fiber solutions. So, uh, yeah, that's the main reasons. I see. And could you possibly elaborate a bit? on the impact from slightly better market conditions and seasonality respectively? Yeah, I would say that um, I don't, we don't quantify them, but I would probably guess that the uh, seasonality effect is a little bit bigger than the, the market improvement. We still see that I would say Europe is uh, soft, as we have seen before. Uh, but the US, we have some signs of an improvement in the market. Okay, I see. Uh, so, so let's continue on that path because we have seen most of your American peers have uh, had quite uh, optimistic outlooks in their recent reports, uh, perhaps a bit more optimistic than your outlook. Uh, could that be due to the US market being ahead of Europe? In the, in the rebound, or do you see any other possible explanations? No, I think it's very much so. Uh, we also see a slight recovery in the US market. We talk about fiber solutions now. And uh, we noted after Q1, we were quite early reporting there that uh, especially the American peers were more optimistic. They are more heavy in the US market. And uh, you might recall that many of them reported for over a year that there was a big inventory problem in the market. And uh, there I think we see that the inventory situation in the market starts to normalize. So that's good for them. We didn't have the same kind of problem at the same magnitude and, uh, as they had. But I would say also uh, we expect the US market to have you know, an earlier uptick than Europe. Interesting. Uh, and perhaps a sign of, of that slightly improved conditions, you recently announced a new FTTH order with uh, in the US market, a major order, I should say, with Novos Fiber. Could you tell us about the order and Novos Fiber? Yes, so Novos Fiber uh, has been a small customer since uh, late last year. Uh, they are going to build fiber to the home, uh, primarily in Texas. And uh, they have a big uh, anchor tenant uh, that they are building the network for, so to say. Um, they have big plans and they are buying our complete solution, our complete fiber to the home solution, uh, including tra training and field support and so on. So it's, I think it's a, it's a good um, sign of the strength in our system sales offering where we work very close with our customers. So we are very happy about that. Thank you very much, Henrik. Thank you.